Hi all, I have a deeply fascinating game to show you this morning. Commodo 9.02 playing against Leela ID 511. This is from David Grosvenor. So he uses 2.8 GHz 4 CPU setup for Commodo and a GTX 1060 graphics card for Leela. So neural networks like the graphics cards. 1060, prob sorry, not 1060, 1060, as I've been corrected recently. Graphics card. So anyway, let's have a look at this game. E4 from Komodo 9.02. We have a French defense from Leela. And we go into the advanced variation of the French defense. Knight c6, knight f3, knight g e7. And Komodo, um, probably outside of its opening book, improvises with this move d takes c5. This is quite a rare move in chess space light book. It's interesting, interesting to see what a good reaction might be to this. Uh, quite often the move knight a3 is played here or bishop d3. These are two very, very popular continuations. But what of d takes c5? Well, knight g6 hitting that pawn, which has basically been loosened. Uh, we have bishop e3, knight g takes e5, knight takes, knight takes, f4 is played, knight d7, b4. So what is white's idea here? Well, white still controls some key central squares. Uh, so that's interesting. This, these pawns seem a bit dangerous as well. But uh, Lila goes for undermining them. B6, provoking that pawn forward, actually, which seems dangerous as well. C6, knight f6, whilst the black king is in the center, is in that, like, ra that waving a red flag to a bull. Well, the bull reacts. Queen a4, threatening potentially something like c7 check under the right circumstances. a6, we have here uh, now knight a3, and white is obviously interested in c7 check in this position, with a, trying to exploit the pin, as we're going to see. Uh, here, c7 check, there's no bishop b5, because that's fine. But white is supporting basically this little idea it seems of playing c7 check leader doesn't care she plays bishop d6 c7 check queen d7 white goes for it bishop b5 so that was the whole point of knight a3 so is leela tactically clueless and has just lost the exchange well as i say tactics are in context the wider context so there's a paradox here. Are the traditional engines stronger tactically or weaker tactically? That's a big question for me because it seems many people think they're still stronger tactically. I don't know myself. If we put this tactic in context, fine, there's a small transaction here window of why winning the exchange, but at what cost? The queen's offside here. This is a very unusual position. I once asked uh, Ruzan Akobian on my way to Gibraltar, um, you know, what's your philosophy about chess? Is there a, is there a general, general philosophy? He said, you basically, you just play the best move in any given position. It all depends on the position. And here, we have a license, it seems. Potentially, Leland has a license to do some very unusual things because of this very unusual position. The position itself, if it's strange or the opponent's done something strange, sometimes you can react with something strange. It, it becomes appropriate. What seems, what normally is totally irrational or weird becomes appropriate. So what is appropriate here though? Well, Leela has also got a concern about the B6 pawn or not. Nope, she doesn't care. It's another piece stranded on the queen side for the moment. As I say, there's a small transaction window here. White's mining material. Is that tactically successful or, or tactically ridiculous? If we consider tactics to be end to end for a whole game what can black actually do here well in this position knight e4 was played actually uh, keeping a lot of pressure on white and white reacted with queen a7 uh, if white castled then bishop takes c7 seems about even so white's being encouraged by Leela to hold on to all the material, but the pieces are still stranded on the queen side. Uh, 
yeah, so let's have a look at this continuation only. So queen a7 protects that pawn. We have these pieces just on the queen side. It just seems a bit weird. But how is this actually exploitable? Well, Lila can pick up the f4 pawn, which she does by castles. Now things get a bit crazy here. This is a really crazy reaction. I don't know if this can be deemed appropriate or not. But to me, this is just so, so strange. This next move, I think early versions of Stockfish are not going to pick up this move or most normal engines won't play this move, which seems pretty cave woman. What would you play here if I give you five seconds? Let's pause the video. Okay, G5, I say this is the start of what is a little bit strange to say the least. Uh, you might think, well, doesn't this weaken the king or does it weaken white's king? This is the paradox. Is it black's king or white's king it weakens? White played rook a e1. If white plays g3, this is really fascinating because e5, for example, takes takes. This is dangerous for white. These pieces stranded over here don't help the king. And we see actually a very dangerous position emerging. Even if white has rook g2, there's f3 now. And these pieces are really not helping. In fact, <laughs> it just seems in a way silly that the bishop is stopping the queen <laughs> returning back <laughs> to help. It's like they're both clinging on to this irrelevant c pawn from earlier, whilst all the action has now exploded over here. What Leela's done is is made some sort of concession to, concession to slow all of White's pieces down on one sector of the board, while creating an action scene on another side of the board. Uh, and this is just devastating. <laughs> These pieces are just helpless. It's just absolute murder in this variation. Absolute murder. So G5, as I say, is it weakening White's king or Black's king? If, well, it depends if G3 is played. So White acted coolly, rook a e1. But now <laughs> Leela finds time to play the move f6. This is really calm stuff. f6. We have g3. And guess what? The bishop doesn't bother moving, just king h8. But the outrageousness, in a way, continues now. White plays rook e2. Now, maybe g takes is just enough for a draw, actually. If we look at this line, I couldn't find a winning line for black. I could only find a draw continuation with rook g2. Very tactical. I've checked with two engines. This is a way of black drawing with this sequence very forcing sequence. White would have to repeat. If white doesn't repeat, then it gets mated. So white repeats and it's a draw. So that's enough to secure a draw by perpetual check. This line where the knights, uh, where the bishop's taken. But we have rook e2 and things get really interesting now. Rook g8. Uh, rook c2 is played. As an example, another example, by the way, if bishop c5, H6 is, is I know it's it's strangely relevant to the future variations H6 I assure you H6 is actually kind of relevant I'm going to give you a line why H6 is relevant here G takes check check E5 Queen here you see the king's got H7 to a queen F6 check King H7 here um, well, the knight is actually protecting f6 for the moment, but let's just run through this. f3, the king generally having h7 is useful. f3, and this is actually uh, pretty devastating after d4, interrupting that diagonal. Bang, and white's king is just at the mercy at the moment of black's pieces. White's queen return is little too late. It's too little too late from out of nowhere from from in Siberia over here it's it returns too late from Siberia so rook c2 was played e5 which opens up the queen to come and visit the king so these pieces in Siberia holding on to the c7 pawn 
Uh, yeah, humiliation comes to mind here. What? It's just clueless traditional engine play. It's absolutely clueless traditional engine play being punished in style. But you might wonder what particular style is used here. And I have to say, I can only call it <laughs> sci-fi form porn is coming up. Sci-fi form porn is <laughs> T-H-O-R-N. Because we have H5 with the idea of installing a form porn <laughs> on H3. Okay, it's these pieces in Siberia which give this beautiful license to this game to be extremely weird, extremely unique, extremely dynamic, extremely aggressive, and extremely justified. All of this play here. <laughs> we have the move Queen B8. Okay, if G takes F4, G takes. Let's have a look at this line. You can see that the H pawn is going to be <laughs> potentially dangerous as well in some lines. Maybe not here, but the F3 pawn. This line, it, the queen on, on A7 really doesn't help matters. White, White's king is getting it. Black has a big advantage. So we have to move H5. I mean, normally, normally, you'd think pawn moves are too slow, especially when you've lost material. But look at the situation here. It's It's ridiculous. I don't know what this can even be called, where the queen is not just in Siberia, it's... It's put in prison in Siberia by its own bishop. It's it's in prison in Siberia. Even worse than being in Siberia. You know, a level above that. So, queen b8. <laughs> and h4. Yeah, this, this pawn is going for it to be a fawn pawn. A fawn in the side. G takes is played. Uh, let's just make sure... Uh, this this line let's have a look at this line bishop c5 instead takes takes knight takes and you might think what's the danger of having a knight on t on g3 actually we've seen this in an earlier game today the danger it supports things like a check on h1 in some lines in principle just taking the time out to take c7 is fine here because there's queen h7 coming up potentially queen h7 <clears throat> and bishop h3 and the point is that this kind of thing is pretty crushing this kind of continuation is is very crushing it's just why is is just really getting it on on the king side so g takes f4 h3 the sci-fi form pawn is installed uh yeah i mean also it's it's so strong this position that e takes f4 is also it seems possible like this for example uh even even this position it's it's good for black blacks winning lots of material and it's going to be good for black so but h3 is played as well very strong rook c2 g takes f4 check <laughs> king h1 queen f5 and now there's a big threat of knight d2 and queen e4 check just mating they're not just in Siberia. Yeah, they're in a prison in Siberia. These pieces. I, I, I can only. I, I, there's no. There's no words to describe this. Out of the picture. Out. Uh, irrelevant. Not just spectator pieces. Spectator pieces that have gone on holiday, and are spectating. You know, dolphins or something. I don't know. It's it's worse. It's it's worse than spectator pieces. And Black gets so desperate here and fed up. <laughs> Why just sacks the queen? Why just sacks the queen? If bishop c5, I'll give you an example. Bishop c5, knight d2, with the idea of queen e4 as mentioned, you know, to put this on the board. This this is the big big threat. If we have rook e2 instead, then actually that doesn't help. Queen g4, for example, and then queen f3 check. There's there's just no defensive resource here to hold everything in place. So yeah, we have this desperate queen sack. Queen takes, that's taken. Rook e2, knight takes c3. Uh, the rook moves to f2, rook e f2, d4. And it's adjudicated here as, as a win for black. It is totally winning. Uh, it doesn't really need to be played out. Uh, there's big threats like rook g8 and queen e4 coming up. And the pawn's just crashing through the center. It's totally a crush position. Yeah, 
So this this really to me demonstrates that the the big question do we, do we really think the traditional engine is a strong tactically when they can play these tactical sequences which win material but leave their pieces terribly irrelevant as humans we can't prove the irrelevance but Leela can and will quite vividly using pawns to batter down or create form pawns around the king and leave these pieces totally irrelevant to Leela just crushing the king side really in a convincing manner she actually kind of slows down it seems one section of the board uh, so there's minimal damage there and then speeds up where she wants to inflict damage opens up things with the pawns so speeds up the position by opening up you know via pawn breaks or form pawns a ton of opportunities against the king beautiful stuff really impressive to me this this game i hope you enjoyed it too comments questions like shares appreciated thanks so much